welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. This is going to get very interesting very quickly, okay? Which we like to say for every episode, but I don't know. I may have my palm read. We might learn that I don't have good thumbs. I don't know what we're going to learn. So, okay, whether you believe in aliens or not, there's a fun event happening in McMinnville this weekend. It's the 20th annual UFO Festival, and today the town has been prepping for the festival. Here with me tonight, we have two of the featured speakers. We have Joanne and James Clarkson. I will say, before we get into talking about all the amazing things you guys do, I love the UFO Festival because it's so, you can really learn about a lot of interesting things, like hear speakers, but then you can also watch the UFO parade. You can dress up your dog like an alien. All of the like, fun and intellectual all happening at the same time. So what, do you, what are you guys looking forward to at the festival? Oh, we always love the parade. That's one <laughs> of our favorite things. And then there's the alien ball. You always got to do the alien ball. There's the so food fancy. and then, and for us, I think we come to this almost every year and we have for years and years, getting to see our friends, our tribe, other people that are into the mystery with a capital M. Yeah, How exactly. about you? I think that's it. It's, um, this is quite frankly, the best UFO conference in the country. I will say that having spoken at a number of them all across the United States, I like the McMinnville UFO festival the best because it's a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of serious ufology yeah. all in one package and you i don't know any other place you can go and get that so you said the word ufology you are a ufologist yes what does that mean for anyone that doesn't know what that is probably a lot of people that don't know <laughs> it means that i've been chasing unidentified flying object cases for over 30 some odd years what? while i was working my other career uh-huh and then you were like, wait, I could do this forever. I could be a <laughs> ufologist. What's the most interesting thing that you've found? Wow, where would study? I start? Or just one that you're like, people should know about this. Because there's probably a lot of people at home like, what? You've been studying UFOs? What do, how do you find I think I'd use the two that I was asked about recently. Very briefly, one of them is that I met a lady in Ocean Shores, Washington, right before she died. And she wouldn't speak to me for four years. And then in the last year of her life, she decided to tell me that when she was a young woman, between 1942 and 1952, she was what we would now call an office manager in a top secret laboratory in Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. And one of the many things that she told me before she passed away, and she had the papers to prove that she worked there, and I independently verified all of her background. I was her friend, a researcher, and also an investigator. Whoa. And it turns out, according to her, that the United States Air Force knew about not one, but three UFO crash retrievals that they were involved in what? by 1952 when she left government service. Whoa. So that's number okay. one. Oh my gosh. And she actually held a piece of the metal from a spaceship. Yes. <laughs> the, mis the memory metal that you could crumple it up and it goes back the way it was, it's light as a feather, you can't cut it, you can't bend it. What? Okay, I really want to hear the second one, but I also okay. want to make sure that Joanne gets time. Okay, so oh, you, absolutely. so not only are you a ufologist, you are a psychic. I am a psychic. I was taught by my grandmother when I was a child, and she taught me to read cards, and I taught myself to read palms when I was a teenager to have something nobody else in the family could do. And I've also had a conventional career. I was a librarian and then a nurse for many years, and. And now we read palms. It's really fun. And this is the first year they've had an actual psychic presenting. So oh, I get wow. to give a workshop on palmistry. Since I can't teach you everything about your palm, I'm going to show you <laughs> your psychic signs in your palm. Okay, so what can you teach me about my palm? Because we've, we've learned that Dan has, has great thumbs. Actually, you have a lot of psychic power. You're very empathetic and very, very perceptive. Oh. <clears throat> your hands, uh, you also take in energy constantly. You're a lifelong learner. You never take things at face value. You always want to know more. And of course, you're good at communications. You're, a, you're probably a Mercury. Oh. Look at those pointy fingers. Of course, that's, <laughs> you're right-handed? Yes. That's your potential. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> You've actually followed through on a lot of that, you know, Wow, you don't really have, she doesn't have a line of reason. This person is never going to be an accountant. So, thank else goodness, because I have never wanted to. You almost have a double lifeline. You've had a lot of interest, you tried to be practical for a while, but that's never, never done it for you. Um, you also have, you appreciate beautiful things, extreme, uh, to an extreme extent, beauty, and you have artistic talent too. Thank you. A, a, a great appreciator, a great eye. If you want to decorate your home, call Cassidy. 
Wow, that, that, I feel like if we took a live picture of my home right now, everyone would be like, oh, Joanne was wrong. But I, someday, no. if I had the time, it would look beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Joanne and James Clarkson. You can see them speak at the McMinnville, McMinnville or McMinniman's UFO Festival in McMinnville. You can find the whole lineup at ufofest.com. This is fascinating. Thank you, guys. Wish we just had the whole show to talk to you.